Hello, 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 everyone. It's Tuesday. So happy to be talking to you guys today. Thank you for tuning in to My Mayhem. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video, share this video, and comment below. Today, we're going to be talking about maternity tour blues. Everyone wants to make sure that they're having their baby in a safe facility, in a facility that is going to be mindful of the mommy's needs, mindful of daddy's needs, mindful of baby's needs. So the maternity tours are a perfect way to check and see which facility will be perfect to give birth. Where I was having my prenatal care, there is a specific hospital that they suggest their mommies to go to. So I did do that maternity tour first. I'm not going to mention their name, but it was terrible. It was a terrible experience and it looked like an insane asylum. So I had to really switch gears and figure out what I was going to do. There are just a few points that I feel like you should take into consideration when you are choosing what hospital to give birth at and what to look for when you're going on your maternity tours. The first one being where. So where is it located in proximity to your home? How far are you going to have to travel? How far is your family going to have to travel? If you leave the hospital bag at home, how far is your husband going to have to drive to get it? You know, all of these things are things you, should, you can take into account because because if there is an urgency and if your water has broken and it's time to get there, you want to make sure that it's not somewhere that you'll be driving for an hour, that you can possibly have your baby in the car because it may be rush hour traffic. It may anything can happen. So you just want to make sure that wherever you're giving birth is in a good proximity to where you live and that it's easily accessible for even your family members. The next thing for me is parking. So I do have a large family. And on top of that, I just want to make sure that I can park somewhere and we can run in when it's time to have this baby. Um, I don't want to be driving around looking for parks. No one wants to risk ticket or even towaways. And then when you're in the middle of labor or when things are going on with you, you know, I don't want my husband having to go and move the car. I want to be able to park somewhere that is designated for us. So that's a big deal for me. Parking. Another thing is the facility itself. So when you walk in, I mean, of course you're looking at the cleanliness. You're looking at, okay, what are these floors looking like? That's a clear indication of what they have going on in the maternity ward. No one wants to have a baby at a place where you're walking in and it's not looking clean. So definitely cleanliness. Those are things to look at. Another thing to ask about is the amount of visitors that you'll be allowed to have. So I speak about a very large family that I do have and I do have a lot of friends. And of course, I don't want 30 people in my room at a time, but I do want, you know, specific groups of people to be able to come in. So I don't want it to be, you know, a, oh, only two people can visit at a time. Tracy and I would like to be able to gauge that ourselves. No, we won't go crazy with it, but I just want to make sure that the restrictions that are put are restrictions that we can live with. Privacy. Privacy is a big one. I mean, are you going to be sharing a room? Are you going to have your own room? Where is the restroom in proximity to your room? Will you have your own private bathroom? Will you be sharing bathrooms with people. I mean, all of these are things to also take a look at. This is a very intimate moment. I mean, you're not going to be feeling like being in a dorm situation where there's six people on a floor and everyone has to be figuring out when they're going to take a shower. I want to have my own bathroom. I want to have my own room and I want to be able to have my baby in peace and I want to be able to bond with my child, me and my husband, and move on. So yeah, privacy. Another thing to think about is the hospital's practices. So what is their specific way of doing things? With a vaginal delivery, do they wait to cut the umbilical cord? Do they keep the baby in the room with you at all times? 
Do they give your baby a bath right away? I mean, all of these are things that, of course, you can discuss with your doctor and you can put in your birthing plan. But a lot of these hospitals have these practices already. So it's good to kind of see what all they offer so that you can decide what you want to do, what you don't want to do, what you want to put in your birthing plan, and all of those things. Last but not least, the most important thing to me is making sure that everyone around my baby has the right energy, friendly faces friendly faces i'm checking to see who's smiling at me when i'm walking through you know who's happy about being at work today who's happy about birthing children who has a calming face who has a calming spirit these are all things that i was very mindful about in my pregnancy just protecting my baby's spirit protecting my spirit and the and the energies that i allowed around us so the same goes for when i give birth i just want to make sure that it's a calm place that it is a zen place that it's a place that i feel comfortable that the baby will feel comfortable and of course that tracy will feel comfortable making sure that people are greeting you these are the same people that will be greeting your guests people that will be greeting you in when you're screaming to the top of your lungs people that will be dealing with you when you're probably not the best person in the world to deal with at the time. I really appreciate a smiling face always. I really do. That experience to me is worth doing the research. So that's all I'm saying, guys. I really want you to be happy when you are having your baby and be happy where you're having your baby. So these are just some things that really helped me when I was looking for a place to have my baby and questions that I needed to ask as I was going through the maternity tours. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel, like this video, and comment below. How was your maternity tour process? I mean, I only had to do two, but I was prepared to do as many as I had to until I found a place that was right for us. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, it's my mayhem and it's Tuesday. Until next time.